Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about a way that you can use your mobile app to basically, in your mobile phone and, and any mobile device, to basically check your Thrivecart sales, transactions, and all that stuff. Now, I'm not going to say that Thrivecart made an app for mobile devices, because they did not, as far as this video is concerned, uh, at the time of this recording, but you can use iOS and Safari to make yourself your own dandy Thrivecart app, just like the one you see right here. Um, so basically, I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. This is not for Android or Google or Windows phone users. There might be another way about that. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look and maybe post some inside of the blog post in the description uh, from the video here, but do some Googling. There's probably some ways to use the same strategy, but this is for iPhone users, uh, basically on how to put this little app here, this little Thrivecart app right there on your phone desktop. So you can quickly just click and log in. So you don't have to constantly go to a browser on your phone or something on your computer. So the way you do this is that we are going to leverage Safari. So Safari is the built-in uh, browser inside of an iPhone, of course. So Safari is right here. And it just opens up like, you know, a normal old thing here. A uh, simple browser. All we're going to do, it's super simple, and you can do this with any website, any kind of app. You can even replace your Facebook app on your phone if you wish to save some room or something. But just go to thrivecart.com and hit enter or go. And then you're going to see this pop up and you're going to go here to the pull down the right hand side and click on login. And then this page right here is the one that we are going to create as a shortcut on your desktop. So the way you do this is that we're going to pretty much make this page an icon of itself on your, uh, on your computer or on your iPhone. So the way you do is click on the button on the very bottom middle and it's going to be a share type button. And uh, this little option right here that says add to home screen, we wanna click that one. And then you can see right there, it actually pulls the, uh, the little icon from Thrivecart's website. You can see it on the left hand side. You can name this whatever you wish on, on top there. And then the URL that's going to be the actual bookmark is the sign in page that is right below there that's already pre-populated. You don't have to do anything. We just click add. So we're going to add that. And now we're going to see here that we have the icon, it's the same icon. We're just going to click this. And once we click that, you can see it immediately pops up the page to log into your Thrivecart account. And then when you use your, uh, your login information from Thrivecart, just save that. And then boom, you literally click one time on the Thrivecart and then one time on the sign in. And then you'll be right inside of there in your account in no time, able to do what you gotta do inside your account. This is a great way to just initially check some stats. This is how we use it. You can maybe look up some customers down here if you wish and look at some transactions. This is kind of a dummy account, that's why it's blank. Uh, but this is the best way to just access stuff really fast on your phone if you want to check something on the go or you just don't want to use your computer. Now, pro tip, this is the only thing I want to kind of tell you is that you can definitely, you know, go and say you want to exit that. And then you want to click uh, maybe, you know, an hour or two or the next day, you just click Thrivecart again. You log in again, because it's going to always have you log in again, which is fine. That's why you save your password. And then you say, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, you check your stats and you're done. Now, what you're actually doing is opening the Safari browser windows multiple times. You can see it's using the browser. So if we go on the bottom hand right, right side here to the windows, you can see it's actually gonna start opening different browser tabs. So just keep that in mind that it's actually keeping a browser uh, window open or a tab uh, every time you click that Thrivecart button. It's not really an issue, but just keep that in mind that if you wanna, you know, just basically be logged in, you can have it right here. You can close this, but in other options, you can actually just go straight to Safari and then look at this. It's already there for you. It keeps it within that one window and then you can just log in again. Either way, it's always gonna have you sign in. But that is a way that I check my Thrivecart stats every day on my phone, uh, every hour if I'm feeling a little crazy 
or making a lot of sales. Uh, that's how you do it with the iPhone. Android and other types of phones, I'm sure there's some shortcuts that are similar. I would just look those up and if we can find them, uh, we're gonna put those under the video inside of uh, the, the blog post at getthrivecart.com. So that's about it. Uh, go get uh, Thrivecart today if you don't have it yet. It's awesome. Um, it's You're always gonna get the best deal going through our site, the best price and the best package on bonuses to help you get up to speed right away. And we have a whole support staff waiting for you to help you out with any questions you have prior to purchase or after purchase. We're here to help you at getthrivecart.com. So see you in there and hopefully this works out for you. Let us know if you have any questions. See you.